of the lights. Racism, immigration, and gentrification are the timely issues we are challenged to address in Steven Spielberg's adaptation of West Side Story. I'm Dr. G, and this is Engaging Minds. True to its original, West Side Story features two teenage gangs at war over turf and culture on the streets of New York City. The Sharks, Puerto Rican immigrants, and the Jets, white Americans, battle to maintain their identity. The Sharks are different, a threat, and do not fit into the Jets' definition of an all-white American. You know, I wake up to everything I know being taken over by people that I don't like. The turf war goes back to toxic masculinity. If I don't understand it, or if it threatens me, then destroy it. The fight between the Sharks and the Jets is also fueled by another threat, progress. Demolition to make way for the new Lincoln Center threatens the old neighborhood stability. As a result, tremendous stress, anxiety, and PTSD raise the stakes of the turf war for both sides. Holding onto the turf is about maintaining a sense of self. Without it, the Sharks and the Jets will lose their purpose, a foothold in the community, and a reason to exist. Oye, Javi! Ponle fuego! Vamos! Academy Award winner Ariana DeBose as Anita further illustrates the immigrant experience in the poignant America. While filled with humor and sarcasm, the song exemplifies the repression of immigrants. Anita clings to the fantasy that life is better in America, but she learns too soon that the reality of the American dream is reserved for the white and the privileged. West Side Story reminds us that the issues being presented are as relevant today as they were in 1961. If we do not develop compassion and empathy for inclusivity, we risk the continued growth of hatred. For more analysis of your favorite TV and film content, check out Dr. G on Beyond TV.